understand that? They telephoned Sir Topham Hatt. So Gordon didn't want to take the special train and ran into a ditch? What's that you say? The special's waiting? Tell Edward to take it, please, and, and Gordon, leave him where he is. We'll get him out later. Silly old Gordon fell in a ditch, fell in a ditch, fell in a ditch. Silly old Gordon fell in a ditch all on a Monday morning. Takes a Dip is episode 24 from Thomas and Friends season 1, being one of those episodes that's born a fucking classic. Naturally so, because it's an RWS story. They just retitled it for TV. The bastards. And also totally missed out on Gordon's frogs. I would've loved that playset. And being an RWS story and written by the Reverend W. Audrey, one could probably guess that this story is based in real life in some way. Even without knowing that it's a classic RWS story, it kinda makes sense. I don't know if it's just me, but knowing what I know about humans, I could see one of us fucking up and running a train into a ditch. There's nothing that we are not capable of. And that's basically what happens in the story, except it's Gordon's fault. Henry is kind of provocative to Gordon in the yard, and because of this, Gordon keeps going on about Henry's accident, that being the flying kipper. He gloats to the other engines about how proper he is and how he's never been in a wreck himself, and when it's Henry's turn to pull the express, Gordon taunts him when he leaves, saying that he should be careful not to come off of the rails. Following this, however, Gordon is tasked to pull some trucks, and he's like, fuck no, I'm not pulling no fucking trucks, and ends up being slow to start, so Edward helps him to a turntable. Upon actually getting to the turntable, Gordon's fire starts to start up a little bit more, and in an attempt to jam the turntable, Gordon starts forward and isn't able to stop, thus landing him in a ditch. Following this, his driver and fireman let him know how stupid the decision he made was, and Sir Topham Hatt surveying the scene from his office would not only make plans around what Gordon had done, but ultimately decide to leave him there for the day. Later that night, two cranes and James would help Gordon not only out of the ditch, but into the sheds. And just like every Thomas and Friends episode, in the end it ends out alright. Gordon may be embarrassed, but you know, at least he's okay. Would have been kind of funny if Sir Topham Hatt left him though. Now, as stated before being an RWS story, there is some real life basis to what happens in the actual episode. Like most RWS stories, the Reverend W. Audrey would take inspiration from a real-life event, and then using his characters would turn it into a story. A lot of you guys recommended me to talk about and look into this episode, and like I always am, I was really interested with what I was able to find. Hopefully you guys find it interesting as well, and with all that being said, here's the true story of Gordon Takes a Dip, or Off the Rails. What we're going to be taking a look at today and what you're actually looking at now is the newspaper article that would report this accident. It's titled Railway Engine Runs Off Turntable, though the event itself is referenced as Engine Number 43132 Takes the Wrong Turn at Lynn. 43132, a 90-ton 4MT engine, actually being a 260 Ivic class LMS mogul from 1947, was supposed to take a 1230 train from South Lynn to Yarmouth. Driver B. Fisher and Fireman D. Hudson were operating the turntable. They would have the engine about halfway around when it would begin to move forward off of the turntable. The engine would then go down a seven foot embankment becoming buried in a ditch. You mean to tell me one of you all couldn't just be like, yeah, let's check the fucking brakes? Now, note that there are some inconsistencies between the accounts of this event. For example, the number of the locomotive, which in some cases is 43142, the actual depth of the plunge, which has been reported between 4 to 5 feet, rather than 7, as well as the method of rescue, which would be by crane. But there also are some similarities. Either way, it's clear somebody probably got fired here. But thankfully, it looks like that's about as bad as it gets, minus, you know, the inclusion of almost losing an engine. It's funny to see how this mistake between a driver and fireman would inspire the Reverend W. Audrey to create his classic story. I've said about a million times now how I commemorate the Reverend W. Wadri for being able to turn any railway event into a story. At a time, Thomas and Friends wasn't about making money as a franchise. It was about creating or getting across a story or point. And that being the point is what makes these classic episodes, well, what they are classics all around. And since these episodes and stories are based in reality and you can search these things up, this adds an entire new layer of interest to the fans. Even if you don't care for the Thomas and Kid part of it, you can always appreciate that these things actually happened. However, if you are a fan of Thomas and Friends, things like this result in a level of appreciation. And it's these episodes that we always will appreciate. Nobody likes where Thomas is going now, but at least there truly are an infinite amount of things that we can appreciate with what we did have. As always, Gordon Takes a Dip is no exception. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.